Sometimes we have to replace burners in barbecues, but burners don't exist. Here we'll demonstrate how we repair grills without exact fit replacement burners. We're removing these infrared burners to pretend we don't have replacements. We will improvise and we will repair the barbecue. First, we'll install an H-shaped burner by attaching two adjustable ventry tubes. With the lock screw loosened, we can slide out the extension in the ventry and bend to attach the H-burner to the grill's control valves. The H-burner must be level in the barbecue and the ventry tubes must be on the valve straight. The H-burner is divided inside so our left valve controls the left side of the burner and the right valve controls the right side of the burner. The two burners that were in the grill have been replaced by the H-burner, which burns, controls, and heats beautifully. Our second replacement option is an adjustable straight pipe burner. The burner adjusts so we'll put the air shutter in front onto the control valve and extend the burner so it reaches the back of the grill. We need to put a level on the burner to ensure it is perfectly level and square and then we'll mark the back of the wall to replace our mounting bracket. With an L bracket in place to support the burner level, we bolt the burner at the proper length, slide the ventry onto the valve, and bolt the back in place. Again, a completely different type of burner provides a simple replacement. Our third replacement is a burner designed for use in portable barbecues and is small enough to fit in this grill, but also has a ventry that extends to reach through the front of the grill to the orifice on the valve. We'll use the same bracket at the back of the grill with a slight adjustment to keep the burner level, and again, the replacement is a simple success with healthy flames.